name is Chris Cowan, uh, Chris Allen Cowan. The year I graduated was 2005 from the MDiv program. I currently work for the government, for the Small Business Administration. Um, and I, w I work in the kind of training and development uh, space there, I guess, human resource development. In my undergraduate program, I was really just shy of three bachelor's degrees, primarily because I didn't know what I wanted to study. I got a degree in English literature, a degree in religious studies, and then I minored um, in psychology. So I was looking for a program that would allow me to explore these different disciplines simultaneously. And Harvard really gave me the best um, bang for the buck. I mean, I could do so much at that time that aligned most perfectly um, with you know my conceptual interests and my approach to learning and my approach to education you know I'm much more interested in the relationship between disciplines than I am maybe even in any specific discipline. I considered going to business school I had taken some business classes while I was at Divinity School, I had taken some education classes while I was at, um, at Divinity School but through that process um, I had met some people who had exposed me to, n to new ideas that I'd never heard of before. This whole world of leadership development and human resource development and training development and all that stuff. Um, up until that point, I thought of, I don't know, I thought of like self-help gurus, you know, I might, like Dr. Phil or even Stephen Covey, you know, I, I could see those people clearly in my mind, but I didn't really understand or believe that there were real, professional, normal people doing that kind, you know, doing this kind of work helping essentially well-functioning normal adults, right? The program at George Washington University, which is where I am now, which is why I moved down here, um, I really liked, I knew going in that I wanted to kind of cross-pollinate. I still hadn't quite committed to like, which is exactly the opposite of what you should be doing. You know, as you're getting higher up into graduate school, you should be getting narrower and narrower, but I couldn't let go of that. So um, that program allowed me the flexibilities, and I'm glad I did it that way because um, after about a year in the counseling program, I ended up um, switching over kind of officially to the other program, the human resource development program. In a lot of ways, who I was and what I wanted to do in the world has been the same throughout. So HDS has kind of been one stop along that path. But that common theme is, is people and real lived experience and you know and trying to figure out how people um, how, we, how we all make sense sense of what's what's going on and try to and try to live good lives and better and better lives so you know the the HDS experience allowed me to wrestle with the most important questions <laughs> you know that people can ask with the smartest people in the world and I, I think through that I kind of settled down a bit and realized that, well, if this is all there is, this is what it is for me, then it opened up possibilities. I didn't have to go out and try to change the world to find meaning. You know, I didn't have to go out and be a martyr or be a savior. You know, I, just doing good work um, made a big difference. That's that's all I really needed to do. So I was able to kind of shift a bit from this path of like, you know, religious studies, big questions, big questions. I really want to make a big impact. Um, and I still do, but it's just, you know, the, the, the it's a little bit more subtle or a little more elegant, I like to think, um, that I realized that the work with human um, human development, organizational development, you know, allows one the opportunity to go into a, an actual um, uh, specific context with people. I think that the connective tissue, the connective tissue between all of those different um, experiences was just simply that I wanted to help people. And the work that I do now allows me to do that in a very unique, unassuming, powerful way that, that really builds on my strengths.